call the member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The protection of women and children from domestic violence is an important priority for me as the member for Hawkesbury. And I know that my colleagues also hold this issue to the utmost importance. New South Wales Police respond to more than 140,000 domestic and family violence incidents annually. There are also silent instances of domestic and family violence which don't get reported. We are all aware of tragic cases whereby women and children have been killed at the hands of perpetrators of domestic violence. Other victims live with the physical and psychological injuries inflicted upon them by their abusers. This is a serious issue that warrants serious investment. In 2019-2020, almost 40% of the people who access specialist homelessness services in New South Wales had experienced domestic abuse. We have to ensure that no woman or child has to choose between continued domestic violence and not having a place to live. Every woman or child must be confident in knowing that they can escape such abuse immediately and have a secure and supportive environment. I'm proud to be a member of the New South Wales Government that is investing an additional $484.3 million in combating the issue of domestic and family violence. The funding package includes $426.6 million over four years to expand core and cluster to deliver and operate around 75 extra women's refuges that support women and children escaping domestic and family violence. Under the core and cluster model, self-contained accommodation is located next to a core which provides access to services including counselling, legal assistance, education and employment support. The sites contain meeting rooms, audiovisual equipment for court appearances, communal kitchens and playgrounds. This is vital as not only uh, does it ensure the safety of victims, but it also means that women and children can progress their lives having escaped from the perpetrator and their previous home. $52.5 million will be dedicated over four years towards the Community Housing Innovation Fund. It's a partnership with the community housing sector to provide approximately 200 sustainable social and affordable housing dwellings for women experiencing domestic violence and family violence. There's also 5.2 million over four years for a trial in two districts to provide dedicated support for accompanied children and young people and those experiencing homelessness with a particular focus on children and young people impacted by domestic and family violence. Madam Speaker, many organisations, individuals and the police in my electorate in Hawkesbury work tirelessly to tackle the issues of domestic and family violence and assist women and children who escape such abuse. I want to thank and commend them for the important work that they do in our community. I want to also acknowledge Annabel Daniel, OAM, Chair of the Domestic Violence New South Wales Board, the peak body for specialist domestic and family violence services in this state. I got to know Annabel in my role as counsellor with the Hillshire Council, where a shelter was established. The focus on the needs of women experiencing domestic violence in the hills was also elevated through the good work done by former Mayor and Councillor Yvonne Keane, AM, and I want to also recognise her advocacy on this issue. Domestic violence of any kind against women, men or children is abhorrent and unacceptable. It's not normal for a person to be verbally or physically abused, controlled, belittled, made to feel shameful or worthless. That's why the New South Wales Government has made this commitment to almost half a billion dollars in support for women and children when they are in their most vulnerable state. I know that my community will continue to stand against domestic and family violence because together we can protect and care those who desperately need us at their most vulnerable time. Thank you, Madam Assistant Speaker. I thank the member for Hawkesbury. Uh, the House is considering private member statements and I 